Okay, it seems like we're live. Can you hear me, Sean? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear All me? Right. Yes, I can hear you perfectly. It's actually right. much better. Um, all right, fantastic. Uh, so we're waiting for the students to come on. So guys, uh, if you start joining now, uh, if you could please just tell us your name and also what school you guys are from, uh, that would be fantastic. Uh, so we can introduce ourselves as well. Um, we know that a lot of people are joining us from different schools in Italy and outside of Italy. Uh, so my name is Chago. I am a teacher at Milano Meravigli, uh, and that's it. My name is Sean. I'm also a teacher in Milano Meravigli, and I come from Ireland. Oh, that's right, and I forgot where I come from. So I am originally from Brazil, uh, but I partly grew up in the States, specifically in California. Uh, so fantastic guys, we hope everyone is doing well um, and you're staying safe, you're inside and that you're enjoying these webinars that we've been running. Uh, it's definitely been a, a, an interesting, fun experience to all of us as well. So great, let's uh, get started. Today we're talking about booking tickets. Oh, hi Filippo from Calle di Sardinia, fantastic. Oh yeah, there's a, um, the, the school in Sardinia, I think is fairly new as well. Uh, and Michele from Bari, hi Michele. Hi. All right, welcome guys. So let's get started with our activity. So today we will be talking about a, a very practical skill um, that you might find yourself using when you are traveling. Uh, and that's when you're booking tickets in several different ways. Uh, so for sports events, maybe going to the theater or to the cinema. And so we're going to look at when you book tickets and also some language for buying tickets. So let's start with some uh, events here, first of all. Uh, if you guys could let us know uh, what are these things, these events over here? For example, this first one, what could this be? Or even if you don't know the first one, you guys can just tell us uh, any of them really. It can also be the ones down here. All right, so while we're waiting for your comments, we will just kind of move forward, I guess. Uh, so the first one, of course, we have a concert. Uh, specifically, this is a rock concert. Uh, what about the second one, Sean? What would this one be? I think this is a football match, a soccer match. Exactly, football or soccer. Uh, this is a, a difference uh, between British, British English and American English. Uh, in Ireland, you would say football, right, Sean, I imagine? Actually, interestingly, no, we say soccer. Oh, you say soccer. We, we have our own version of football, Gaelic football. So when we say football, we mean Gaelic football. And what is that like, Gaelic? I've never heard of that. It's like soccer, but you also use your hands. <laughs> Ah, very very like rugby in a, in a yeah, way. yeah, somewhere between the two. Okay, great. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have Filippo and Michele. Yes, a uh, concert that's perfect and really good word, uh, Michele. A, a gig uh, as well. You can say a concert or a gig, fantastic. Uh, Michele also told us the next one. Yeah, we have a singer in an opera, it's very good. We have an opera next. Uh, okay, next one here. Um, it's for the theater. 
And in a theater, you watch a play. So the theater is the place. Uh, and the thing that you watch, the actual spectacle, would be, we call that a, a play. Uh, oh, like a carnival, sure, why not? Definitely carnival masks, uh, Filippo. Uh, drama is good as well, Michele. We definitely use the word drama uh, when referring to, to a theater. Uh, okay, uh, Sean, maybe you want to do the next one over here in the middle? In the middle, we have the cinema where you watch films. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So a theater, you watch a play, and at the cinema, you watch a movie or a film. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, and then lastly, actually my screen is blocked here. Ah, okay. The last one, we have a symphony. Okay. So that's it. So usually for these events, uh, we book tickets. Uh, although to be honest, I don't know about you, Sean, uh, mm -hmm. I don't usually use the verb book for tickets. I just say buy. I guess, of course, you're booking because you're reserving a ticket for a specific day. But I've always just said to buy tickets, buy football tickets or concert tickets. What about you? Would you say book? I would say book. I would, would say, say book, book or get. Or get as well, maybe. yeah. Regional, I'm not sure, but I would say book. It's very normal for me, yeah. Yeah, I know there are some differences. Also, um, there is another activity which we say to hire a car. For example, I would never say hire a car either, always rent. No. Really? No, I would no, say hire you hire um, like a, a person or even a service, mm -hmm. but I would rent the yeah. car. So, yeah, it's funny. There are some of these, these differences. Hi, Sylvia. Welcome. Welcome to our broadcast. Okay, fantastic. So these are some um, places or events uh, for which you would need uh, tickets. And yes, Michele, get, get is also a verb that we can use. So book tickets, buy tickets, or simply get to obtain, right? Get tickets. So wonderful. All right, so let's uh, continue. So. When we are talking, especially about a, a theater, um, we have some vocabulary here that we use to describe the, the place. So maybe you guys, uh, could you tell us if, in the comments, you can just put the letter and then what you think the, um, the word is to represent that. Okay, so we'll give you guys just a couple minutes so you can participate and you can let us know. Theater. I haven't been to the theater in so long. No? No. I, I used shame. to go. Yeah. Uh -huh. I went very often in Ireland. It's a big part of the culture, especially in Dublin. But here, not so much because it's in Italian. <laughs> yeah, you can probably find some shows in English, though. Mm, but yeah, but I would imagine, yeah, most of them are, are in Italian. Hmm. Uh, all right, Sylvia, let's see. So um, A, that would be the balcony. Yes, that is correct. So A, we have the balcony. Very good. Uh, Filippo, let's see. Um, so I said B is the box office. Very good, where you would buy the tickets. Uh, and then C is a gift voucher. That's also Correct. Uh, very good, guys. Yeah, gift voucher for C. Wonderful. A is balcony. Wonderful. So, um, yeah, so when you're kind of buying tickets, so these are some, well, actually the places inside the theater you will find on the right. On the left is just, again, it's a mix of places where you buy tickets, the actual voucher, etc. cetera. Uh, and if we think about the inside of the theater, we also have different areas, right? D, E, and F. So what do you guys think for those? 
uh, here, Michele, rate E. Yeah, it's the mezzanine, right? It's kind of in Italian, like mezzo, in the middle. Yeah, so we have the mezzanine right in the middle. Um, F, we have the orchestra, very good. And then D is the rear. Yeah, the rear, the back of the theater. So very good, guys. So here are the official answers. You guys were all correct. So very nicely done. Okay. So let's continue. Uh, so here are some others. Uh, so now, again, inside the theater or inside the cinema, uh, we tend to find these objects or places and things. So what do you guys think about these? Do you like to go to the cinema, Tiago? Uh, I do like movies and I do like watching things, but to be honest, I prefer doing it from home. Right. Uh, oh, I can do it comfortably, you know? I can like be in my pajamas. <laughs> so I really like doing it from home. Uh, what about you? I like the, the popcorn and the sweets. So I go uh, to yeah. the cinema, yeah. That's part of the experience for me. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I, I used to go a lot more. Uh, and then ever since I got Netflix, I, you know, <laughs> it's just really hard to, uh, to leave the house. Uh, and sure, sure. Yeah. Um, actually, come to think of it, it's probably been at least a year since I've been to the cinema. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, guys. So we have a few answers here. Um, so, A, of course, we have a seat, okay? And careful with pronunciation, everyone. Uh, so this, if we're talking about the noun, we say, yeah, seat. Almost like with a smile, seat. But then we also have the verb, which is kind of similar, but with an I. And this one, sit. So we don't do the smile. So the noun, seat, sit, is the verb. Mm, so very good. We have the seat. Um, row is right here. B. Or sorry, not B. Uh, e. E. So we have the row. Uh, the, oh, yeah, pronunciation of B. That one is confusing for a lot of people. We call that the aisle. A lot of silent letters there, the aisle. Um, so a lot of students ask us the difference between an aisle and a, a corridor or a, a hallway. Uh, and I think that the easiest way to think about this um, is that an aisle, you don't have walls. So for example, um, in, the, like in the theater or in a supermarket, you, know, you have different aisles uh, on the plane. You also have aisles because we, we, it's basically when you have objects instead of walls, um, kind of closing the space. And then, of course, uh, the rear, as we saw before, it's the back. And we have, of course, uh, the front. Uh, so, Sean, what was the last movie that you saw at the cinema? I went to see Little Women, which was um, around Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really, I really liked it. It was a very nice film to Great. see in the cinema because it was very beautiful. And what is it about? It's about um, some sisters about um, 200 years ago. And um, some of them get married, some of them don't. It's about their life. Um, as they become women, go from children to women, from girls to women. Okay, great. Very nice. And what about you guys? Uh, have you seen any movies recently uh, at the cinema or also at home, uh, if you prefer it that way? Uh, let's see, Filippo, you have a comment here. So in the airplane, you can choose between aisle and window. Exactly. You have the aisle 
the window, and then we also have the one that nobody wants, which is the... The middle seat. Exactly, the middle seat. I actually personally don't mind the middle seat too much. Uh, maybe because I'm very small, I'm like very short. <laughs> so for me, it's okay. I don't mind the middle seat. For me, it's a big problem. I, I have to be in the aisle. I'm too tall. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I do prefer the aisle um, also because if I want to go to the toilet, uh, in, in the past one time uh, I was on a, on a flight, uh, I think it was about nine hours. I, I don't remember if I was traveling to the States or to Brazil. Uh, and the two people next to me, they fell asleep immediately. Oh. And, and so, it, oh my gosh, it was horrible because I didn't want to, of course, wake, wake them up. Uh, but then at one point, after hours, I just had to. <laughs> I just had to wake them up and, you know, yeah. go to the toilet. Uh, ah, Michele, so you saw the movie Assassin, a Japanese movie. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Have you, Sean, Assassin? No, I haven't. Great. And Filippo says, I prefer aisle in the airplane because it's easy to look the flight. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right. Fantastic, guys. Um, so we've talked a little bit about the theater and the cinema. Um, Let's also talk a little bit about stadiums. Uh, for those of you who like to watch games at the stadium, uh, these might be quite useful. Uh, so on the side here, we have uh, some, uh, what is it called, Card cardinal points, cardinal directions? Yes, cardinal points, yeah, I think so. Yeah, so we have the, the four cardinal points uh, and also different sections of the stadium. So if you guys can match that, uh, ah, Sylvia, you watched The Joker. Just a spelling correction for you. Uh, the Joker. I still haven't seen The Joker, actually. I heard no, many good either. things. Uh, mm. yeah. I was going to go, uh, but then there was a, some kind of accident. I was, in, I was traveling in the Netherlands, um, and there was some kind of accident in that theater, so they decided to like close for a few days, so I didn't go. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Did you see Parasite? Parasite was very good. Is that the Korean movie? Yes, yeah. I've heard of I it, liked but it a uh, lot. did you watch I it, watched in it at the home. cinema? In the cinema or at home? Mm -hmm. I, I watched I watched it at home. I streamed it. I didn't go to the cinema because here the subtitles would be in Italian. <laughs> So ah, Korean and Italian. <laughs> yeah, great. And uh, did you, um, which uh, website did you use to stream? Because I looked for it on Netflix because I heard some some positive reviews, but I couldn't find it there. Is it on Amazon or? No, full disclosure, it was not a legal website. But, ah, I um, see. If you're interested, yeah. I can send you a link. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay, good. And Filippo, at the cinema, yes, at the cinema would be better, yeah. Uh, in the cinema could also work. Um, it depends, you know, if, if you say in the cinema, then you're really specifying that you are inside. So, for example, um, let's imagine that you were meeting with your friend at the cinema, right? So more generally, you're meeting at the cinema. And then your friend gets there but she can't find you. So she calls, she says, Filippo, where are you? I'm at the cinema, I don't see you. She's like, I'm right outside. And say, no, no, I'm in the cinema, as in I'm inside. And so that could work, but at the cinema is definitely better, more general. Good, and yeah, great, Sylvia, Joker. So guys, uh, let's have a look over here. So these cardinal points. Uh, A, of course, we have north. Then south would be D. East 
is C and west is B. Okay. Um, and so I guess when you're buying tickets for the stadium, I guess that's a thing. If you're, it tells you which, I, I don't know. I've never, I haven't been to too many uh, games at the stadium, but they really use like north, south, east, west. I guess for the entrance. Um, um, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, the only stadium I've been to is one in Ireland where they all have particular names, all of the stands, all of the seating areas. So they're named after certain individuals, not north, south, east, north, and west. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying. I've been to a few games, but now I don't remember. Um, I remember letters for sure, like entrance A, B, C. Uh, but I guess, yeah, you could also use like north entrance, south entrance, or something like that. Um, I'm not very good with cardinal directions in general, so I usually don't think about them. Uh, okay, and then uh, at the stadium, we also have the, um, the away section. Uh, so this is basically for visitors. Uh, so, you know, when you're playing in a stadium, usually you have the, the team that, you know, that the stadium belongs to. Uh, so they are the hosts. And then the team that is coming to play against them, they would be the visitors. And so they are in the away section because they come from away. Um, then we have the club level, which you find in the middle here, uh, which is usually next to the, to the box um, boxes where that's where you have the glass. So the club level is not quite the boxes, but it's usually around the same kind of level. Um, so you, you usually you get a better view. It's a little more expensive to sit over there. Uh, so that's the club level. And then we got the last one, which is an interesting, uh, interesting name, the nosebleed area, which is all the way on top. Uh, can you explain to them, Sean, the, the meaning of that expression, nosebleed? I'm not sure of the connection to the seats myself, but a nosebleed is when blood comes from your nose. When yeah. red blood comes from your nose. Yeah. Exactly. It comes from blood. Uh, so blood is the noun. And then bleed. It would be the verb. Uh, I actually looked this up today because I also didn't know. Okay. Uh, so it comes from um, high altitude. Uh, when people go climbing mountains, uh, once you get to a high altitude, it's common for your nose to bleed. Uh, oh. So that's where it comes from. Interesting. At, originally, I thought it was maybe, I don't know, I guess it's mostly like for baseball, not so much other sports, yeah. maybe getting hit on the face with the ball. Mm. But then it wouldn't make sense that it's all the way at the top, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I so, Michele, yeah, bleed is the verb. So, blood is the, um, the, like the, the red liquid, right, we have inside. That's the noun, blood. And bleed is the verb. Okay, so I can say, my nose is bleeding. There is blood coming out of my nose. Filippo uh, said, <laughs> wait, Michele? Ah, you're replying to Michele. It's a place where... Someone gets punched in the nose. Uh, well, not quite. Well, hopefully not. That would be the, what is it in Italian? You say the ultras, right? The, that's for the, the big fans. Uh, they get very angry at people supporting other teams for some reason. Uh, and so that's it, okay? So just to review, guys. Um, so for the cardinal directions here, we have A, north, B, west, D, south, and C, east. And then when we're talking about the, the seats, uh, we have on the very top, usually the cheapest uh, tickets. We have the nosebleed area. We have the club level, which is usually the more expensive tickets. Uh, and also inside the stadium, you have two different areas. One is for the visitors which is the away section. And the other one is for the local fans. Uh, so I guess the, for the, the, the host, the host section, I suppose you'd call that. Okay, guys, 
If you have any questions at all, please let us know in the comments. All right. Um, so in practical terms, if you are ever in another country and you need to buy tickets in English, this is a helpful guide on how to do that. So we have the red, which is the, the staff member, right? Hello, how can I help you? And on the right in blue, we have different possible answers. So can you guys tell us the number that you think goes after the first one, the second one, third one, etc. So how can I help you? What's one possible answer? Okay, like Ryanair. What do you mean like Ryanair? Okay, so we got number five. Let's see, how can I help you? Yes, I'd like two tickets for Phantom of the Opera. Wonderful. Okay, then which date would you like? Great, Filippo. Great, Michele. And so five is the first one. Okay, Filippo, uh, number one, let's see. Which date would you like? The 16th of April, please. That is correct. But, but I'm sorry, that show is sold out. So no more tickets, sold out. Great, guys, perfect. Number one, yeah. And then after that, We have number three, uh, how about the 25th? Excellent. How about the 25th? Good job, guys. All right, and then uh, the person says, yes, there are still seats for that night. Yes, thank you, Sylvia. I know there is a little bit of a delay sometimes with the comments, so keep writing. At least you can participate. Good job. Um, Alessandro is in number two. So great, two tickets in the mezzanine. Wonderful. Um, okay, that's two tickets for Phantom of the Opera. Would you prefer to pay by phone or in person? And then, of course, in person, please. Okay, have a good evening. Thank you. So, all right, guys, maybe Sean and I can demonstrate to you now um, just how this conversation would kind of play out in, in real life. So here, Sean, do you have a preference? You want to be red or blue? Whichever, I don't mind. <laughs> all right, great. So I can, I can start with red. So, hello, how can I help you? I'd like two tickets for Phantom of the Opera. Sure. Which date would you like? The 16th of April, please. Mm, I'm sorry, that show is sold out. How about the 25th? Yes, there are still seats for that night. Great, two tickets in the mezzanine. Okay, that's two tickets for Phantom of the Opera. Would you prefer to pay by phone or in person? In person, please. Okay, have a good evening. Thank you. Exactly. Great. All right, so um, what we'll try to do now, guys, is we have some different events here, okay? So we will, again, give you a demonstration of the, of a, you know, a conversation uh, at the ticket office, and then we're gonna try to do it without the dialogue. You can just follow, you can kind of think about the possible answers, and we'll see if you're right about that. So first one, we have theater. So uh, good morning, how can I help you? 
I'd like two tickets to the Lion King. Okay, how many tickets? Six tickets, please. Okay, and which section would you like? Balcony, please. Credit card or pay at the venue? Visa credit card. That will be 180 euros. This is why I don't go to the cinema <laughs> or to the theater. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, guys, if you see anything that you don't know, uh, please let us know. Okay. All right. So, now let's try uh, to do this one more time, but we will kind of improvise. We just have some kind of guidelines. We'll try to keep this natural. Uh, so, all right, Sean, do you want to be the, um, the the ticket person now and I'll be the customer? Yeah, I'll work at the ticket place. Hello, how can I help you? Hi there. Um, I'd like some tickets for Mamma Mia, please. Okay, great. How many tickets would you like? Uh, two tickets, please. Uh, are there any seats available for tonight? I'm afraid not. The next available seats are on the 15th of April. Ooh, on the 15th. Okay, that, that's fine. That works. Um, how much are the tickets um, in the mezzanine? In the mezzanine, they are 40 euro per person. Okay. In the balcony, they are 20 euro per person. Okay, and in the rear? In the rear, they are 10 euro per person. Okay, fantastic. So um, I'll have two tickets uh, in the balcony, please. No problem. Would you prefer to pay with credit card or pay in person on the uh, day? I can pay in person on the day. Okay, no problem. See you then. Thank you. Bye. All right. So here, Filippo has a question for us. Uh, what does pay at the venue mean? Do you want to explain that one, Sean? To pay at the venue is to... The venue is a general term for a place where you have an event. So the theater, the stadium, the cinema, these are all venues. And if you pay at the venue, you decide that you will take your money on the day to pay for the tickets rather than in advance. Exactly. Clear? All right, guys. So um, let's look at the next uh, situation here. We have a sports match. Uh, so good evening. How can I help you? I'd like tickets to the Man U game. Okay. How many tickets? 12 tickets. All right. Which section would you like? Club level, please. Credit card or pay in person? In person, if possible. Sure, you can pick them up at the box office. All right. So we'll do this one more time and uh, we'll kind of improvise it this time, try to make it a little more natural. Uh, so, all right, so now I can be the person selling the tickets. Uh, sure. So, hello, how can I help you? Hi, I'd like to buy tickets for the match, please. Sure, uh, which match? Um, the Liverpool match, please. All right, of course. And uh, how many tickets would you like? I would like 10 tickets, please. So 10 tickets. Okay, that's great. And uh, in which section would you like to um, would you like to have? I would like to sit in the nosebleed section. So in the nosebleed. Okay, so that's all 10 tickets in the nosebleed section? Yes, please. All together, okay. if possible. Okay, sure. Yes, once you're there, you can actually select your seats. Um, the nosebleed is just an open area, so uh, okay. you can just find something uh, close to each other. Since it's 10 people, I recommend arriving a little bit early so you can okay. guarantee sitting together because it's a big game uh, this mm -hmm. weekend. And uh, you say? I would recommend at least 45 minutes before the game starts, uh, but an hour would be better. Okay, sure, no problem. Great. And would you like to pay now with a credit card or in person uh, when you arrive? I'd like to pay with my Visa card, please, if possible. Okay, fantastic. So uh, I will send you an email with instructions mm -hmm. so that you can complete the payment from your computer. Sounds great. Okay.
Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you for your help. All righty. Great. Uh, all right, guys, everything okay? Any questions? Again, even if we're having a conversation, you know, just go ahead and kind of write a comment and we'll, we'll get to it once we're done. Uh, all right, so we have a rock concert situation now. So good evening, how can I help you? I'd like four tickets to Coldplay, please. Okay, uh, Milan or Bologna? Milan, please. Mm, I'm sorry, but that show is sold out. We still have tickets for Bologna. Okay, the Bologna show, please. Okay, and where would you prefer to sit? I would prefer the balcony. Okay, four tickets in the balcony. Do you want to pay by credit card or at the venue? At the venue, please. Great, you can pick them up at the box office. All right. Okay, so let's do this one more time. All right, do you want to sell the tickets now? Okay. Hi, how can I help you? Hi there, I'd like to buy a couple of concert tickets, please. Sure, for which concert? For the Dua Lipa concert in Milan. Okay, sure, which date? Sunday the 17th or Saturday the 18th? I would prefer on Saturday if that's still available. Yes, it's still available. For how many people? For two people. And which section would you like to sit in? Um, can you tell me the prices? Okay, so the balcony is 70 euro, the rear is 50 euro, and a standing ticket is 100 euro. Okay, um, I'll, I'll have two standing tickets, please. Okay, two standing tickets, wonderful. Would you like to pay with credit card now or pay in person on the day? Yeah, I can, I can pay by credit card now. Okay, fabulous. We'll send you an email with where you fill in your details and information to process that. Okay. Great. Thank Any you very much. Questions? No, no, that's all. Bye bye. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. All righty. And then we have one last example, the cinema. So good evening. How can I help you? I'd like tickets to the Lego movie, please. Okay, which showing? The 9.15 p.m., please. Mm, I'm sorry, but that showing is sold out. We still have tickets for the midnight show. Okay, four tickets, please. Do you want to pay by credit card or at the venue? At the venue. Uh, you can pick them up at the box office an hour before the show. So great, yeah, one good, uh, good word here that we didn't see before could be showing. Mm -hmm. That's a nice one. So showing, we would use this for, um, I guess, for a play or, a, but especially uh, when you're watching a film at the cinema. So the showing, so the different times showing. All right. Um, okay, so let's play this out one more time. So hello, how can I help you? Hi, I'd like to buy a ticket to see um, Joker, please. Okay, just one ticket? Yes, just one ticket, please. Okay, so one ticket for the Joker. And uh, which showing? What are the showings available tonight? Now, tonight we have one at 6 p.m., one at 8.30, and one at 11.45. Okay, I think I'd prefer the 8.30 showing, please. The 8.30 showing, okay. So one ticket for the Joker at 8.30, correct? Yes, correct. All right, perfect. Uh, are you a student? Because we do have some discounts if you have a student card. Yes, I'm a student. I have a student card. Okay, fantastic. So that's 20% uh, off if you have a student card, uh, but you do need to present your ID, your student ID, when you arrive at the theater, at the cinema. Okay, that's not a problem. Great, and would you like to pay by credit card now or in person when you get here? I'd like to pay in person when I get there, please. Okay, perfect. So we'll have your tickets ready at the ticket office, and so when you get here, just uh, give them your, your name. And uh, that's it. Can I have your name, actually? My name is Sean. Okay. Can you spell that for me, Sean? S-E-A-N. Okay, great. All right, fantastic. So your tickets will be ready.
Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, guys. Great. So, um, so hopefully you you know with all these different scenarios, it's a little clearer um, how to buy and book a ticket, uh, especially over the phone. But th the same skills uh, can also be used in person uh, when you just go to the ticket office. Uh, so, let's see, Filippo. How many tickets did you buy today? Yes, I spent all my money, Filippo. Mm. We're going to all the events. It's good to get experiences, no? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's actually where I spend most of my money. Well, it's actually food. I guess that is an experience. I would say yeah, half of my income goes towards food. Mm -hmm. uh, good. Yes, and good spelling, um, good spelling, Filippo, for bot. Just be careful uh, because you're asking this question in the past. Now, you're going to study this a little bit better uh, in level six, okay? So don't worry too much now. But if I say did, I'm already using the past. So you can keep the verb in the present, in the infinitive. So how many tickets? Did you buy today? Put that on the screen for you. How many tickets did you buy today? And then when you answer, you can say, I bought, as you said, I bought four tickets, five tickets, etc. Okay, so perfect, Daniela. So six tickets, and you mean to pay in person. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, so guys, uh, let's review a little bit uh, some of this information that we saw today. Uh, so when you maybe, when you make a phone call to book a ticket, uh, what does the person answering the phone say to you? It says, hello, good morning, how? So go ahead and type the answer. What do they say? How? you finish that for us and Michele I'm in prison at home no cinema yes no cinema to any of us but you can watch TV a lot of series and movies on Netflix are you currently watching anything Sean on Netflix at home I was actually watching the Italian series of um, my brilliant friend Amica Geniale which is about um, two girls who are friends in Naples growing up. It's very interesting. Amica Genia, is that on Netflix? No, but it's um, broadcast by Rai, and you can watch it on the Rai player. Ah, so you get it on TV. I see. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, Filippo, great job. How can I help you? Wonderful. And if you want to tell the person what you want, what do you say? I... Let's finish that one as well. So how can I help you? And then the customer would say, um, yeah, I actually, so I've recently finished, so I finished uh, Rentified on Netflix, which came out recently. Uh, but actually today I was, uh, I was playing video games, so I didn't watch anything. Oh, what video games do you play? So I just finished uh, the, um, the Last of Us. Okay. Yeah, which okay, yeah, I heard many good things about it, and then it was on sale, uh, and I was stuck at home. It's like, all right, let's just play video games. Yeah, nothing to do. Nothing to do. Exactly. And yes, I go, heard supermarkets yeah. and video games making a lot of money now. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Uh, so I'd like to buy tickets for. Very good. Or I'd like to book tickets for. Wonderful. Yeah. Nice. Buy or book or even get, as we said in the beginning. Uh, great, guys. Now, um, what are different areas inside a theater? So the different sections, different areas, different sections inside a theater or a cinema. And you guys can all participate. You can just, you know, give me one example, just different people giving different examples. That would be great.
So yes, we have a couple examples here. Yeah, we have the rear, so the back. We have the mezzanine. Yep, very good. Um, and what would we call, uh, so on an airplane, on a theater, what do we call the, ah, yes, Deborah, nicely done as well. We also got the balcony, uh, especially in theaters. Uh, yep, great job. The orchestra as well and the stage. And uh, what do we call the, um, the, the kind of corridor that you walk down uh, on the plane or at a theater? Yeah, nicely done. And pronunciation? Aisle, the aisle. Very good. Uh, so if you're watching a game at the stadium, uh, what do we call the different areas where you can sit? Yeah, the spelling aisle, like that. Uh, and then, yeah, pronunciation, aisle. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Aisle. Okay, and at the stadium. All right, you have the uh, the cardinal directions, the cardinal points. Um, so we can use, of course, north, south. Uh, we also have, of course, the club section where tickets are generally a little more expensive uh, or the opposite, the nosebleed. So at the very, very top uh, where you cannot maybe see things that well, uh, but you can still kind of experience the atmosphere and you can still watch the game from up there. Uh, okay, nicely done. <laughs> yeah, we get a nosebleed. Yeah, it's, it's a nice expression. Nosebleed. So yeah, bleed is the verb, right? To bleed. So what's the noun again? So verb, bleed, and the noun. Exactly. Blood. Wonderful. Uh, and yes, Michele, visitors. Uh, this is another section um, of the stadium. Uh, that's where um, the fans of the team that has been invited to play in that stadium stay at. Yeah. So the visitors. Wonderful. Um, what do we call, so if I want to watch a play or a film and I go to the venue, what do we call um, the place in which the person selling the ticket stays? So I buy tickets at the... Yeah, good job, guys. So where do I buy tickets? And we buy it at the box office. All right, nicely done. Good, so guys, we are very close to the end of our uh, sec. Oh, we also have, yeah, the away section. Nice, Sylvia. Uh, so we're almost done with our uh, broadcast today. So if you have any final questions, please let us know. Yeah. Uh, Sean, is there anything you'd like to add that we've we missed or we forgot to ask them? No, I think everything is, is very clear. I think everyone participated very well today. Yeah, really good participation, guys. Good questions, good comments. Uh, and it's nice to see that you remember a lot of these words as well. 
So that's it. So now next time you need to book tickets, uh, you know, it would be great if you could try and maybe do it over the phone. Uh, try calling them. You can even do this in Italy. You know, they don't know that you're not, that you're Italian. You can just call them and book your tickets over the phone. Okay. Okay. So guys, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we hope that this was uh, useful. Uh, and just remember that we have these um, sessions every hour. Uh, so there will be another one starting now at six every day. So we'll, we'll see you guys around. Bye. All right. Bye, everyone.